Hey everybody, this is Deep Shika from Social League and today I have a very special guest with me. I have my client Kate Dawson. Hello Kate. Hi everyone. Kate, why don't you go and tell us about yourself? Okay, um, I'm Kate Dawson, as you just said. I'm also known as the decor whore. Um, I specialize in making homes look like a million bucks at a fraction of the cost, mostly through sourcing strategies. Um, I love to shop at places like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Home Sense, Tuesday Morning, World Market, all of those fabulous stores that always have sales and always have great product, but you don't always know how to put it together. I'm really good at that. Yes, you are really good at that. Thank you. So today, Kate is here to talk about her experience of working with me. So, Kate, um, we worked together last year, mm -hmm. worked together for a few months, I think four to five months, mm -hmm. and um, I had such a great time, and I know that me you too. had such a great time too. So, just to tell our audience, yeah, tell us a little bit about what was your before, yeah. before working with I would say before, a lot more anxiety, a lot more fear, um, confusion about pricing, uh, confusion about, um, I, I mean, almost like confidence, like, ooh, right. I don't, that, that seems high, ooh, I don't want to upset anyone, you know, oh, that seems too, so expensive. Um, because the thing is, is, um, you know, my business is about decorating your home at a much yes. better price, but that's about sourcing. That's about getting items at good prices. It doesn't right. mean I give my services away. Yes. And I think that was the biggest shift I got was that I can still be affordable and charge what I'm worth mm -hmm. and still save people money because... I'm, I still am just, just in, you know, there's no question that everything at TJ Maxx is going to be a lot cheaper than if you go to, you know, any sort of name brand store. Yes. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I think that really, you know, what really shifted for me was, oh, I, I'm undervaluing my work. Totally. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I remember that when we were talking, I remember we met at a cafe and we were chatting yeah. about this and you had a lot of frustration also because obviously you were doing your best. You were giving your best to the clients. Yes. But you felt like that there were a few clients who were taking just too much and you were not just being paid well enough for it. Am I correct? Yes, that's exactly right. And one of the things that I got really clear about was that I couldn't just do lump packages. It right. just didn't work because every person is so different. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I don't think people were like, oh, I'm going to take advantage of Kate. I yes. think what happens though is if it's an unlimited, you know, if it's like, hey, for, you know, a million dollars, I'll do your house. Yeah. I mean, obviously that's not the case. <laughs> but, um, but if that's what's, you know, what I'm doing, what's happening, yeah. then um, I totally just lost my train of thought because I miss my pre-pregnancy brain. No, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. My, my baby is eight years old, but I totally lost my I think what you were talking about is when there's like Ooh. an unlimited, like when they can- If unlimited, then they're like- Buffet, right? Exactly. They'll be like, unlimited. yeah, you know what? Um, I, could I see 10 more? Could I see yeah. five more? Yes. Could I see three more? Yes. Um, and you know, just no valuing, not, not valuing my time and really not valuing their time either, although yes. I don't think that they realized that. Right, right. So and I feel like your boundaries, like you didn't even understand what your boundaries were. There were people coming to you for bartering service. And I yes. was like, that's a hard no, kid. You're not yes. doing that. Yes, that was a big yes. one for me too. Like, oh, okay, I'm not going to do that anymore. Right. Um, and I still, you know, I still have people approach me about it. And I, I just now say, you know, let's just, let's just, I'll, you know, charge me for what you do and I'll charge you for what I do. Right, right. Awesome. So you've definitely talked about a couple of things that, you know, were big shifts for you. Can you, can you talk a little bit more about your experience of working with me and what were the biggest ahas for you? What were like the big breakthroughs that you had? Yeah, well, the, the really biggest one, which I spoke to already was just that I, I am worth more than I was giving myself. Yeah. Um, two is that it's okay if someone says no. Like this was a, a huge shift. And this actually just mm. happened about two weeks ago. Yeah. So someone called me and said, you know, oh, I've seen all your stuff on Facebook and I love it and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I love your, that you get everything at TJ Maxx. And she wanted to basically renovate her kitchen, had a very, very low budget, but still wanted to rip all the walls out and everything like that. And I was like, okay, well, it's still, you know, you, you do need to think about the cost of all those right. things. Mm -hmm. um, and then she asked me, you know, about, about, about my pricing and mm -hmm. I gave her the pricing and she went, oh, wow. And I didn't, I said, what, 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 <laughs> you know, she said, well, you're, um, you're just that you have the highest hourly I've heard of any decorator I've talked to. And I just said, right. oh, I'm sorry. You know, there was no, yeah. I just was like, oh, like no ick factor in it. You were yeah. like, yeah, take it or leave it, bitch. I'm not, right. I mean, I was like, 
Uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. That's what I charge. Yeah, that's I'm pricey. Yeah, not you know like like three months ago, I would have been yeah. like, oh well, um, maybe well maybe we could work something out. But I just yeah. I don't mind now. I, oh I, my god. You know, so I oh it was god. not even there was. I just realized, you know, like after I got off the phone, I was like, holy shit, look what I just, I just got there. <laughs> so that was huge. Yeah. I, you know, because always before, you know, I want to help everyone. And I do, I would love to help this woman, but mm -hmm. I have to do what makes sense for me in my life. So. Right. I, right absolutely. absolutely. Um, I, I hear an echo on your side. Do you hear it too? I don't. No. Okay. I think, let me fix it. I, hello. Hello. I hear you. Okay. So we are, we are, we are recording this live. So, you know, we're, we're keeping it very, very real for you guys. So awesome. And I, this perfectly brings me to my next point is because I remember that there was a lot of fear in you yes. that, okay, if I raise my price D, what's going to happen? Like, you know, yeah. are they going to say no? Are they going to say no? And uh, by the way, Kate mentioned that her hourly prices, um, I, I definitely want to mention is that this is not for everybody. Right. And that's why, you know, when you, when you are in hook him and book him, or when you're working with me, the advice that you get, the strategies that you get are very, very cookie cutter. They're very, very customized. So while hourly pricing works for Kate and it works wonderfully for her, it might not work for you. So yeah. just state that. So, okay, Kate, so tell me a little bit of like, what does the after look like for you right now? You know, I, I, it makes me nervous to say it out loud. I feel like I should knock on wood everywhere because I'm so grateful to the universe. But I mean, I... I People are like, where do you get your leads? And I'm like, I, I, they just come, <laughs> um, you know, and well, who, how, by word of mouth or Facebook? And I'm like, I don't even always know, but, um, yeah. you know, the leads come. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. It's yeah. something I never think about. You right. know, I always think, oh, I'm, I do sort of think to myself, I wonder how many leads I'll get this week. And then I sort of, it's sort of out of my brain and they just keep coming. So it's, it's sort of this miraculous yeah. plant that just keeps growing. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember you sending me a text message once and you said, D, I keep raising my prices and they still keep yeah. coming. Yeah, I know. I feel a little like, you know, just sort of a little bougie saying that because I, I'm not, you know, I'm not like buying, selling my house and buying a mansion in Short Hills yet. Yeah. But anyway, but that was true. I was getting all these clients and I, so it was like in one week, actually, each time I kept raising it by like $5 increments because that was all I could do that was made, that made me comfortable. Yes. Um, yes. And so like the beginning of the week, let's say I was charging, I mean, I'm making these numbers up, but I was charging $50 for an in-home consult. By the end of the week, I was charging 75. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my you God. You know, wow. and, and still and everyone. Still kept saying yes. Yeah. So, and then yeah. I, I was talking to, maybe I can't remember who, maybe, or maybe it was you, but basically someone said to me, if no one says no, you're not charging enough. Right. Right. Thought, oh, yes, absolutely. So yeah. it's, yeah. And that was also one of the things you coached me around too, is just getting comfortable with someone saying no, like, yeah, that's, that's okay. And yeah. Fact, yeah. No, it doesn't mean no. It just means that, that you're creating space for something better and something more beautiful. Yeah. That's what I always say. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. tell me like how much have your prices increased? We were just talking about this before we. I'd say they've, they've like quadrupled. Wow. So, wow. um, yeah. And I really am clear about, you know, I sell hours in, in bunches. Yes. You know, so I do have an hourly. Then if you buy 10, it goes down. If you buy 20, it goes down further. Yeah. Um, and that's really been perfect for me. Awesome. Um, you know, because I do want people to feel like they can get a better price if they, you know, buy a bundle of some kind. Yeah. Um, yeah. The way they do, you know, cause I, cause look, I'm a human also. I want a good deal. So yes. I want to make, I want people to experience like, you know, well, you will get a better deal if you yeah. buy it. Yeah. You make them feel good about the, the price and themselves. And that's what it's all about. It doesn't matter how low or how high it is. Right. And I always say that people value high price. So think about it. Like you buy a ticket, a $27 ticket for an event and, it's rainy outside. It's like so bad. Yeah. I'm not going out, but if the ticket is $2,700, I am getting my hair. Yeah, your ass I am, yes, I'm buying an outfit and I'm ordering an Uber black and I'm going. <laughs> totally. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So what has this beautiful shift in your business? What does this look like for your life, Kate? Just tell well, us how is it like you? I mean, I'd say more than anything is just a, a creative fulfillment um, professional fulfillment. You know, I'm, I'm an extremely creative person by nature. I mean, it's like food for me. I can't yes. live without it. Yes. And, um, this is the first time I've ever had a job where the creativity never stops. 
Wow. Um, and it's just a wonderful way to live my life. Um, yeah. You know, I've, it's also challenging because I have a very tight schedule. You know, I hired an assistant. I hired yes. a keeper. I hired also um, a design assistant who is wow. amazing, who can do all my ideas and renderings in 3D, um, which is also why my prices have gone up because I have more, yes. I, you know, I have more I have to pay for now. Yeah, you are at a new level in your business now. So you're hiring all these team and it's yeah. possible because of all the shifts that you had in your business. Yeah. And yeah. as you know, my dream is to have an HGTV show or Netflix or whatever. I don't care where, <laughs> uh, but that's my dream because I really believe loving your home changes the way you feel in your life. And I want people to experience their life in a fulfilling, beautiful way. And coming home and being like, oh, I'm home. It changes the way you live your life. You show up mm -hmm. in the world differently. You totally. know, we all, we are all born to give gifts to the world. And I feel like my gift is really to, to have people love their homes because you, when you're surrounded by beauty, you just live a happier existence. Totally. Yeah. So tell me about this new exciting thing that you're yeah, doing so with that's another of a common friend. Yeah. My, my goal is to get this on a TV show so people can see how accessible it is and how you yes. can get great things at all these stores. Mm -hmm. So, um, I hired a video crew. We are wow. still in the process of recording our first episode. We've started on a room in uh, South Orange, and this one is a bigger, it's going to involve more construction than usual. Right. So this one, it's going to take several months before the episode is complete. Yes, but, but that's a big thing, right? Like yeah. hiring a video crew yeah. and really living your dream because this has been your dream for so long. Yes, yes. Yeah. So awesome. I'm having the best time. You know, my client who I'm doing it with has been amazing and so into it also. So yeah, I mean, I'm trying to really. And I am making a a. Preview. You're making an appearance. Yes, you are too. In my I'm making an appearance. In I it. know. I can't wait till that's awesome. done. I think I'm going to be yeah. getting that this week. Oh um, wow, that's awesome! I'm so so excited for you, Kate. Thank Super excited. You. Thank so last you. question: um, Who do you think should work with me? So all the audience that is watching, what would you say to them who are thinking about? Hmm, I yeah. don't know about Dee. Like, who should I work with her or not? Yeah. Well, I've told you this story before. The first time I ever really was like, oh, I, maybe I should work with D." was you posted something on Facebook that said, successful people start before they're ready. And that sort of became my mantra mm -hmm. because I'm always trying to figure it out and I need to understand this and understand that. And for some, that gave me permission to be mm -hmm. like, I don't have to fucking know everything. I can't. Yeah. I can't know until I do it. So anyone who is trying to figure it out first yeah. That, that doesn't exist. You can't, right. you can't do, it's like you can't ride, you can't learn how to ride a bike without getting on the bike. Mm -hmm. So I would say anyone who's like, mm, I'm not sure if I'm ready. You're never going to be ready. Just fucking do it. <laughs> I love it. So, so, I mean, I'm also an extremist, perhaps you've noticed. <laughs> so I know not everyone is like that, but I think that it's great to align yourself with people who are going to push you and people yeah. who are going to hold you accountable. And, um, and think about like, who is it I want to be in this world for myself, for my family and for my children. Yeah. So, um, really anyone who's got like that hunger and wants to get out of their way and just say, go for it. You know, I there's love no one who shouldn't, you know, I mean, yeah. yeah. And really it is, this is like my life's mission to help women like you create their own dream lives to get out of their own way so that they can just go and get the things that they want. Yes. Thank you so much, Kate. Mm -hmm. oh, thank God. you so thank much. You. Thank you. I'm so, so excited yeah. to see everything. And oh. I'm going to be seeing you on TV soon. I'm thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Love you, Dee. Mm -hmm.